Hey everybody, Wayne here. Today we're doing an unboxing of a priority mailbox. Actually, I think if you've read the title of my video and didn't just randomly start playing, you know exactly what this is an unboxing of. I'm very excited. This is a, if I can get the priority mailbox open, this is a, uh, oh my god. Okay, um, time out while I open this freaking box. Oh lord. Yes, folks, you get to see the awesomeness of me opening this box. Alright, here we go. Alright, on that anticlimactic note. Dun -dun -dun. Today, we're doing unboxing of Night Fighter Ace from Compass Games, brand new release. Oh, I'm excited. Game by Gregory M. Smith. Night Fighter Ace, air defense over Germany, 1943 to 1944. Awesome. Oh, this box is heavy. There's gonna be a lot in here, I bet. All right, let's, uh, what are we looking at here? Some random stuff. Compass Games Expo. I will not, unfortunately, be attending that. Maybe one here. All right now, let me clean up this mess here. All right. So you saw the front of the box. Let's look at the back here. Oh, look at that. Night Fighter Ace places you in command of a German night fighter during World War II. Night Fighter Ace Air Defense over Germany is a solitaire tactical level game which places you in command of a German night fighter during World War II. Each turn consists of several days during which a combat mission will be flown from one of many bases in Europe attempting to intercept incoming British bombers. Night Fighter Ace is based on the popular, action-packed Hunter's Game system by Gregory M. Smith, with a strong narrative around the pilot as you look to increase your prestige, earn skills, and rise in rank through promotion and receive awards. So, mentioned it here, uh, based on the popular, action-packed Hunter's Game system. So, I have not done anything with the Hunters, any videos, but you, if you haven't yet, check it out. I have a video on Raiders of the Deep, which is based on heavily based on Gregory M. Smith's Hunter's system. So if you like those videos, or video, maybe, well, maybe I did too. Um, if you like that, then this one will probably be up your alley. So we got here two custom card decks, counters, different looks like the night fighter sheets, components, a whole bunch of stuff here. Look at that, this is a big one. Complexity medium. Time scale three to four days per turn. Time scale, not time to play. <laughs> Map scale, I hope not anyway. There we go, have a time to play two to three hours. Um, unit scale, individual aircraft, weapon systems, crew members, ammunition, very tactical, very nuts and bolts. Number of players, one or more, best with one. Solitaire suitability, very high. Designed especially for solitaire play. Well, that's good to hear. On that note, let's open it up. See what we can do here. See what we got in this. Sweet, heavy box. Oh, I love opening boxes. I love opening, oh, knocking the camera. So excited, the camera's flying. You guys are getting sick, getting dizzy. It's like you're in a night night fighter. Shooting down those pesky, pesky British bombers. All right. Whoop, back this way, I guess. All right. Um. Okay, so, ooh. Ace pilot cards. I, I realize there's some glares and they're in plastic at the moment. Sorry about that. I'll bust them open. Combat cards. Hmm. Got our dice. I will be upgrading these for my playthrough videos. I will be doing tutorials, uh, playthroughs. Um, definitely going to dive into this one. I've been looking forward to it for quite a while. The rule book, I assume. Yep. Case style. Looks. Just like, you know, Raiders of the Deep. Um, it's a narrative-driven, you know, solitaire war game here. So, large-ish, but at the same time, big rules index in the back. I assume there's lots of pictures and stuff. Let's kind of... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yep. Examples. Pictures. Operations map example. Um... 
historical notes, example, example one, example two. So lots of good stuff in the rule book. Ooh, pile of, that's what's so heavy. This pile of cardboard here. Oh, that's cool on the size of the box, actually. Look at that. Ooh, pretty cool, huh? All right. Oh, this thing's, oh, so much. Oh, so much paper, so much card stock, heavy card stock. Okay, it's not that heavy, but very cool. It's the operations map you lay out. See the, uh, the old sequence of play over here? I like that it's right on there. I like that. I don't remember if um, Raiders had a sequence of play on any of the maps or anything. I don't think it did. Hmm. That's right, though. All right, we got through that one. That was a lot of fun. Okay, pilot and crew status. Okay. Yep, so one side here, so there's my... My guy, Ace, optional Ace card, prestige level, different uh, awards, his skills. So you can see where you put me putting his skills, points for experience points for um, different positions. It looks like electronic maintenance, weapons maintenance, parachute. Ooh, we don't need that. Um, all that stuff. Cool skills for landing, bomber stream, gunnery. Awesome. Oh, and then, oh, well, here's one of them, I guess. Maybe it's the only one. Maybe it's how it works. Um, okay, so the bomber target map, mat, excuse me. So we're going after the bombers. I believe this is what we use. So you see it's got some listed on there. The Wellington, the Sterling, Halifax, Lancaster, the B-17. Cool. Mosquito, two different types of mosquito. Bomber, and then the night fighter. Assume single, yep, single sided, so that would be out there too. So I assume we'll have like the operations map and the pilot and crew status, the bomber target map, and then, well, these are charts, it looks like. Oh, cool, yep. So raid charts, aircraft target lists, aircraft damage listings. Ooh, controls, take hit for controls. Fuel tank, explosion on a 12. Explosion results in loss of the aircraft and death for all crew. Bummer. Random events, fuel shortage, the combined bomber offensive has reduced fuel allocations, lose this sortie as you sit on the ground, mark an FS in the sortie box to record this. I don't, I don't want to guess what that stands for. Electro malfunction, mosquito attack, mosquito night fighter latches onto you, go, to exact, go directly to night fighter combat, cool. cool, skills effect listing, weather charts, socked in. But operations are canceled. I read that about Night Fighter damage turn. Yeah, I'm just basically checking out these different stuff. Oh, it looks like a sequence of play again, maybe, or different sequence of play. Hmm, I don't know. Cool. Um, what do we got here? Here we go. Now we're starting to get. Yeah, well, the rest of it's actually pretty cool anyway. Okay, so these are looks like our Night Fighters. And I see here um, the counters, which we will check them out in a minute. And then it ends with a ginormous pad. Um, let's look at the pad first. So, sortie log sheet. Whole bunch of them. So I'll probably just use the pads as given. And it looks like they're double-sided. Or is it additional info? Yep, double-sided. So, tons of them. I used to be all, I mean, I can, you know, you'd be playing this game for years. Which type of game you, you can play for years. So. All right, let's go ahead and look at the bombers first. I'll look at the counters and the cards. So the different uh, German bombers here. Oh, excuse me, fighters. Why did I say bombers? Night fighters. These are the night fighters. So these are what you're flying to try and shoot down the bombers that are bombing um, your side. So, oh, available at start, I see. So BF-110. F-4A. Oh, my favorite fighter, the BF-110 F-4A. I'm just teasing. Of course, you need all the designations and such, but I just like to make fun. Um, build at start, current zone, current base, current unit, um, speed 17, prestige level 3. Don't know what that means, but that sounds cool. Um, the different bases, Dutch, Bremen, French, Berlin, Munich, Munster, Frankfurt, F-Furt, F-Furt. 
Damage, port wing, starboard wing, controls, airframe, fuel. Yeah, that's not good. I don't think fuel tank, fire. That doesn't look good. Crew status, pilot wound, funker wound, pilot blinded. Ah, oh, I got a funker wound. Um, electronic suite, weapon suite. Four forward guns, six forward cannons, 12 Shrike music. Well, not four forward guns. I think it's just forward guns. Forward cannon, Shrike music, whatever. Shrog music. I'm to learn how to pronounce that one. I feel that's Muzak music. It's part of the game, like a important part of the Night Fighters. So, all right. What else we got here? Oh, the other, another BF. They double sided. Oh, they are. Hang on a second here. So we're looking at. I don't know what the box said. Hey, let me double check because I'm not gonna count them because I miscounted last time I did Raiders and I was off by like a hundred. Um, 16 aircraft display mats, and I, I assume they're double sided, so we're looking at 32 different um, night fighters. Awesome. So, like we're looking at, you know, BF 110 F 4A, BF 110 G slash force dash force uh, slash U U1. <laughs> okay. So, you get the idea. Um, I'm not gonna go through every one of these. There's some of them look like they're probably minor modifications. Very cool they have the option though. Um, more variety in games is not a bad thing. Um, especially in wargaming, I think we need a little more of that. The DOT 215 B-5. Okay. Oh, that looks freaky. Look at that. This is a what if aircraft. Available June of 44. Yeah, no kidding what if. Look at that thing. Creepy. It's like weird looking. Alright. So what if? So I like they have what if aircraft. So it's not just what was in the war. I mean, you can stick to that if you want. But then there's variations. He two nineteen. He two nineteen. He two nineteen. He two nineteen. Okay, there's a lot of those. Ju eighty eight. Looks like most of the stuff is the same. Obviously, to list the you know what they have for their equipment. Remember the other one had that Shrag music. This one only has rear guns. Doesn't have Shrag music, so no music on the flight. I'm kidding. I know it's a way to attack. Maybe it's from attacking from the uh, from underneath, I believe. Shooting up um, at the bombers. We'll dive into that when we dive into it. Get it? Get it? Um, when we actually play the game. T A. There's a ton of them. So J88 again. There's a ton of these night fighters variations and versions. All right, let's look at these counters. I heard some uh, trouble on the internet, some people on BGG saying the counters were terrible, horrible, no good, and they're gonna you know, send the game back. Maybe not that quite that bad, but there's atrocious or something. I'm, I gotta check these out. Yeah, I don't think they're atrocious. Um, look at the aircraft. Those are cool. Um, and these are, I think, five, five eighths. They're definitely larger than half inch. Um, thickness is about average for compass games. So you're not looking at these aren't uh, you know individually punched super thick DVG counters or GMT Deluxe Edition counters, which regular GMT by the way are not that thick. Um, these are probably standard war game counters. So no, I'm not gonna blow anyone away with the thickness here, but they're not that thin. Oh, someone said they were magazine quality thin. No, they're thicker than that. Um, whoever said that, sorry, you're wrong. Um, obviously don't play too many war games. Um, let's see, they look cool. Aircraft, range, raid target, bomber stream, blinded. I like the art on these. These are super cool. The old B-17, check that out. Yeah, all right, American. I know this is primarily British versus uh, the Germans. It's not really a whole lot of American presence set for the night fighting, but, you know, night bombing campaign, but still. Like, nice to see him. Nice to see my boys. Daylight, all this stuff. Let's see. Fuel shortage, spare part shortage. This would be the metals. Mm. Oops, all right. Different areas, looks like. Uh, yep. Victory, Mosquito Victory, B-17. All right, cool. Oh, uh, let's see, and someone said you can't punch them out. Let's see. Oh, you can't punch them out? <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, okay, well, that one punched out. What about uh, over here? 
I want these base base zone French and Deluxe and Dutch and such. Okay, so you gotta push them back once and then you pull them forward. Look, hey look, they punch right out. So, I'm sorry, I had to joke around a little bit um, with those comments about how the counters were trash and that you couldn't punch them out and all this stuff. I'm just like, okay, well, we'll see about that. You know, hey, you never know. If I had tried pushing them and suddenly everything fell apart, I'd probably be a little upset too. But uh, looks like mine are good. They're uh, come, they came right apart. As you saw, I just punched them out. Worst case, I had to push it back and then you pull it back. For, you just you see how I did that? So everyone, if you, if you don't know how to punch these war game counters out, you just push through. See, you get them like this. You just like fold them back and then fold them back forward. Boom, look, basically popped right out. And now go ahead, you go through. See, back, forward, pump, pop right apart. And now I will clip these. That is not necessary, but I will. As you've seen from my counters, I have nice rounded corners. I will clip these. All right. So I'd say the counters are just fine. Look at the, um, just like they were in Raiders, that size, 5 eighths, that thickness, um, good artwork. They're gonna stand out. I like them, so no complaints from me, guys. Compass, keep it up. All right, um, let's look at the cards quick. Where are we at, 16 minutes? I wanna get this under 20. Look at the Ace Pilot cards. And I think we're gonna call it after we get through these cards. Cause I gotta, you know, learn the game. All right. These are all Ace Pilot cards, I believe. Because I believe there's a two decks, it said. Ace Pilot and then the Combat deck. Yep. So these are, you know, optional Ace members, optional Ace Pilots. I think you can just kind of make up who you are. It's probably rules for random people. Um, or just make them up. And then there's, yep, so you have different different guys or historical figures. Hamut Bergman with the styling with the cap popping off. Looking cool. Killed 36 all at night. Knights Crossborn died 6th of August, 1944. Well, sad ending, but 36 kills. Archwell Hemmelgirl. All these crazy names. I can't. Gerhard Rot. Rudolf Frank. So, yeah, I mean, very cool. Lots of historical figures. That's the nice thing about these games, and I expected this from Gregory Smith, and I expected this from this game and from Compass, was a lot of historical accuracy, tremendous amount of um, information, and... Yep, I don't even look at every single card, but you get the idea. Very cool. Optional, but a nice option to have. All right, and then the deck of cards, the comic cards. If you've seen my other videos, I normally can open these, no problem, because they usually have a tab on the side. This one does not. That's okay. No tab on the side, so you gotta, you gotta brute force it a little bit. Uh, just find the seam. Usually the best thing. Yep, so. See, find the seam there, and you can open it. Yep, just right from the seam. Once you once you tear that seam, I mean it's 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 done. It's open. It's open for you. All right. So these are combat cards. Yep, looks like they're all combat cards. Decent decent thickness. Um, you know, not the thickest in the world, but not not thin. I mean, again, I've I play so many games. I've encountered cards much worse and eh, better, but no, these are just fine. These are standard. I'd say these are standard. All right, so I don't know how to read these, so this might be looking at. So it looks like they're all going to be kind of the same. Yeah. So I guess looking at these isn't super exciting, just because I don't know how to read these. If you know the game, I do not know the game yet. I read through like the first couple pages of the rule book, looking at you know firepower slash hits, whatever that means. Contact, what happens? You are not spotted, you fire first. Bomber begins a corkscrew next round. Defensive fire, two hits. Okay, what about this one? Uh, how's it compare? Okay, this looks like the same result. Here we go. Here's a comparison. So, the numbers up top look, are close, not the exact same, but close. Oops, you can see it. Um, contact, you are spotted, bomber fires first. Shrag, music attack, aborted. Bomber begins to corkscrew this round before you fire. Defensive fire, two hits. So basically, I believe um, you don't use, you not use the con the dice for combat. You just draw a card, maybe. Draw a card and flip it over and see what happens. Sh gun jam. Roll for random if more than one firing. Oh man. Contact. You're not spotted. You fire first. Bomber begins to corkscrew next round. Defensive fire, zero hits. I think that's good because defensive fire is against you, I believe. The bomber shooting at you. So. So I think that's the card-based combat. That's cool. Hey, mix it up a little bit. You know, it's nice that this game looks, you know, similar, right? Built on the bones, that engine of um, Hunters. 
but it looks like a totally different game, different theme, obviously. And it looks like it's going to play differently. Similar, right? Familiar, but different. So, all right, we are at 20 minutes. Let's call this video. I think it looks great. I'm excited to learn it. I'm excited to dive in. Quality looks good on everything, just to reiterate that. My counters punched out just fine. They're standard thickness, cardstock, everything. Nice color rule book. You can't go wrong here, folks. Stay tuned for future videos where I will do uh, probably like a tutorial, basic tutorial slash playthrough. I'll hopefully do a couple of those videos because just like I did with Raiders. All right, folks. Till next time. Bye.